Hello, there is Fimpossible Creations and in this tutorial I will show you how easy you can make animating and movement for lizard. We will transform movement like this into something like this. To make this we will need three packages. One is tail animator for the tail of lizard, spine animator for spine and free ground fitter for basic movement. We will use free model of Lizard, which is available on the Asset Store. It's made by GNEA Suko. Let's import it. But first, let me show you what movement controller are we using. I have here set it up Ground Fitter, which is my free package. So it's just basic movement, which is trying to fit object to the ground when it's moving. Camera is controlled by third person script, which is available on my other free package of basic assets. To ground fitter movement object we have attached this capsule, but we will replace it with our lizard model. And of course, your setup can be different, it's just my basic approach for the tutorial. This model is delivered in package with a controller, which moves like this, so it's using a root motion. Animations are nice, but it's a bit slow and the root motion would need to be programmed, but we will do it in much more simpler way. So I will remove components which come with a package, disable root motion and we will do simple changes in animator. For our tutorial we will not need all of this. We will need only clip of idle and walk. Also we will add parameter animation speed, ground fitter is using this parameter to change animation speed of the movement clips when creature will accelerate or decelerate. So I will add this walk animation clip. Let's replace animator for the model with our changed animator. Put the model in ground fitter movement object in the same place where capsule were before. Let's reset position and rotation of the model so it's in center of the movement object. Let's check what we've got. So I have movement like this. This will be base for our improvements. Let's do them. First I need to find tailbone of the model. I just go through hierarchy of the model and here it is. Now we add tail animator to this. I'm using tail animator blending because this model is animated and tail animator blending is providing some more options for animated objects. Let's check it. Tail is moving, but you can see that there is something wrong. That's probably because some bones in tail are weirdly rotated. So rotations between these two bones are very different. You can easily tell it by looking at blue axis. These bones are okay, but this one is again rotated. But don't worry, we have solution for this. There are correctness algorithms and some of them should fit to the model. We could use parental which is universal, but in this tutorial we will use cross up. To make this algorithm work right, we have to define main object. In our case it will be ground fitter movement object. And now it works, but I want to disable waving. I really like how it moves with just default settings. Great! Let's copy in play mode, then paste in edit mode. To have everything saved. Now let's set up spine animator. To make it work correctly, we must to define right spine chain. We need two bones. First should be pelvis, which children are legs and rest of the spine. Second bone can be head, neck, chest, depending on what we want to achieve. And there we have head. We will make spine chain which goes from the pelvis to the head. Hit get to create spine chain and then our component can work. But there is something really wrong. I assign head, but forgot to assign pelvis. So let's do it correctly this time. 
refresh spine chain by clicking get and let's check how it works now. So now it animates correctly. This motion would use of changing pivot position of lizard to be in leading bone position. So in our case it's head. I need to lift up a bit model to prevent clipping legs through the ground. So I just move lizard a bit up in ground fitter movement object space. We can tweak some parameters to customize movement, but in lizard case we will not do too much. We will limit slightly angles between the segments of lizard bones. And also make spines righten when lizard is moving. So let's move a bit on the terrain. Yeah, I think effect is correct. And that's how we made this. We end this tutorial here. So leave a like if you enjoyed it or if you learned something. Subscribe for more. Hit the bell for notifications about new videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.